Now, let's hear another tune. Uh, who should we hear next? Well, this is an interesting uh, tune because this is a, strays from that region quite widely. We had here at our World Music Festival an amazing afro garifuna yeah. Afro-Honduran, Aurelio, Aurelio Martinez, who also worked with Andy Palacio. And this is his guitarist, or I should say Guayo Cedeño, who is the guitarist for Aurelio, was also the guitarist for Andy Palacio. And... Uh, he, his band is called Coco Bar, and his dad was a member of a band called Los Robins. And we're talking psychedelia, tropical, Latin lounge, <laughs> Honduran style. <laughs> Sounds like uh, surf music in a way. Yeah. Surf under it. And, and, and a lot like of a uh, sort of like, I wonder if one of his influences is Ry Cooter, because I heard a lot of, you know, echoes of Ry Cooter's music in there. There's a twang there. There's oh, definitely yeah. some kind of uh, tropical twang. <laughs> and what you're hearing is three musicians. Um, it was amazing, the show they put on, just three of them rocking everybody out, just totally into it. Amazing how much sound can come out of three artists. And a young guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And... Uh, you know, I never, there is kind of a psych, again, a trend of picking up this uh, psychedelia, which we found out about more through Peru. Yeah, we're, chicha we're familiar with chicha. But I never thought, I'm realizing that it spread throughout the Americas, that in the, like, 70s, this oh, yeah. was like the hip thing to yeah. do. <laughs> and uh, Guayo Cedeno has a, uh, a website, and you can check out his album. And uh, yeah, The album will be out in the spring. It's pretty yeah. cool You know, when, when Andy Palacio died, uh, tragically, he, he was the musician who really brought this style of music to a lot of people's ears. Uh, Aurelio Martinez kind of picking up the mantle. I mean, uh, does, does this gentleman feel like that's part of what he has to do is continue to carry on this tradition and expand it? I think he's expanding the Honduran tradition, but he's not Garifuna. Uh, he's right. not Afro-Honduran. Mm -hmm. So even though he's played in those with major Afro-Honduran musicians, bands. His, he's more this uh, tropical 70s yeah. Honduran music that his dad was a part of. Yeah, so it. it's, a, it's a different facet of Honduras that he's expanding upon. We're talking with Catalina Maria Johnson from Beat Latino on Vocalo and a music journalist here in Chicago about the Womax 2014 festival. Um, lay another tune on us. Well, here's another tendency.